from the book of Jude, from the authorized version of the scriptures, okay? The authorized version. The Bible has been given to you, dear people, by Rome. Roman Catholicism. Okay? Yea, hath God said. The majority of the Bibles that are out there stem from Rome because it is in the custody of Rome that is Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, which the Bibles like the non-inspired vomitus, the non-King James Version, which is a mixture of Alexandrian and Antiochian manuscripts. They blend them together, okay? And while the non-King James Version has all the verses, okay, they use subtleties and change words, okay? The non-King James Version, such as what this one Muslim guy who has a Gideon hardcover, it's the non-King James Version. Okay, it has all the verses in it, that I'm aware of at least. Uh, might They might take some out, I don't know, I don't really care. But see, what that is, is Rome doing as it has always done. Blends everybody together, see. Okay, the authorized version, the King James Version, is the perfect, inerrant given by inspiration word of God all right and for you mr. one message individual okay try to use one of these but see this one message guy that I've uh, that this guy's been getting on my nerves okay this guy's really been getting on my nerves um, okay uh, it's interesting because Okay, he's a Muslim. He's the son of Ishmael, son of Hagar, the firstborn of Abraham. Yes, yes. Ishmael was the firstborn of Abraham. But it's in Isaac. In Isaac, your seed shall be called. Isaac, the Hebraic people. Anyway, this Muslim knows these arguments. And I would only I would only reckon uh, when confronted with the fact that the authorized version is the perfect and errant given by inspiration word of God uh, that he would resort to the very same arguments that people who like to like Jesuit aha James White would go to uh, he would use the same arguments it 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 baffles me in a peculiar way. Atheists, Muslims, use the same arguments against Christianity. And usually they're right. Okay? From Jude, in the authorized version of the scriptures. Hey, Mr. One Message Man, you got a little, you got a Gideons. Okay? You got a Gideons. That tells people that they are being saved. That they still have to work for their salvation. Huh? In like 1 Corinthians? Huh? Yeah, it says, for those who are being saved, when the scripture says, are saved. Okay? All right. Miss the one message, man. You don't have the right book in the first place. But, again, I have to applaud you for this alone. Because you are doing what your father, the devil, will have you to do. To put on the shadow boxing, the entertainment event of you knocking down the religion of Christianity established by your mother. Do I got your attention? Now, usually, with my, and I've had limited experience with the sons of Ishmael, but when face to face with the sons of Ishmael that I have encountered, they have been, my interactions have been cordial, polite, that kind of stuff. 
online behind the keyboard, uh, a lot of the uh, those who claim to be Muslim or sons of Ishmael are quite hostile. <laughs> and again, too, about the uh, sons of Ishmael, Islam, the Muslim. What happens when the Dome of the Rock gets blown up? That'll never happen. Well, oh, you'll see. Okay, what happens? I have asked this question of several Muslims, and I usually get the same answer. Bluntly put, you guys would go nuts, and you would declare jihad, holy war. Interesting. But see, this one message guy, he's attacking Christianity, which Jude, uh, Jude, Jude only has one chapter, okay, excuse me, Jude, verses uh, 1 on to verse 4, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. To them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. Now hold on. Common salvation available to all people. Okay? Available to all people. Problem is, for a lot of you, you have to go the way of the cross. God is specific. God is a God of specificity. God is a God of exclusivity. Okay? He has chosen. He has elected. He has called people to go the way of the cross, which is first death to self. You've got to man up and take responsibility for you putting him on the cross. And then you get the hell scared out of you. And in that fell swoop of a moment, you call upon his name, May he save you. And once he saves you, you're once saved, always safe. Okay? But it's available to all. God is not a respecter of persons. And see, within the realm of Christianity, Christianity preaches that God is a respecter of persons. You're, you're a Calvinist, right? So you're elect or non-elect. You're a Pentecostal. You've seen God or gone to heaven or hell. You're a Catholic. You belong to the church that Christ founded. Right? Right? You speak in tongues like the Pentecostals again. Okay? You just believe and receive. That's the religion given to you people of Rome, dear friend. And But see, the faith that is of Jesus Christ, meaning, meaning, Jesus Christ, He is our all, He is our hope, He is God the Father. And, and hey, and hey, you Muslims, you happen to see this? You're right. The Trinity, here, let me, let me. The Trinity is of Satan and is satanic. It got its roots in Babylon, crafted in Egypt, and it is perfected by Rome. Okay? The Trinity. One God in three persons. A person is a spirit, soul, and body. Okay? We're made in the image of God. We have a spirit, soul, and body. So when the Muslim, rightly so, attacks the religion of Christianity for the Trinity, bravo! Bravo! Amen! 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 But see, the common salvation means that it's common to all people. Okay? God today, in this dispensation, that's called rightly dividing the word of truth, friend. Uh, in this dispensation, God is not a respecter of pe uh, persons. Okay, it is to the Jew first, the Hebraic Jew, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the chosen Hebraic line from whence Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Hmm. It's common to all people. 
Beware of these Christians who come to you and tell you that God is a respecter of persons. Meaning, Calvinist, you're either elect or non elect. Pentecostal, you got to speak in tongues. Or maybe even if you're special enough, you'll see the Lord. <laughs> That's not funny. Or hey, just believe and receive and go about your merry way and live like a devil. And at the end of your life, hey, you can have all that the world has to offer you. Like a golden plaque from the Jesuit order of YouTube. <laughs> You'll see that. Uh, or you're a Catholic, you know, you belong to the church Christ founded. Yeah. See, Christianity tells people that God is a respecter of persons. And you might be saying, well, no, he doesn't, you know, non-denominational. Non-denominational, just like King James Bible-believing Christianity, is just another denomination within the realm of the false, which is called Christianity. This thing called Christianity, people, has been set up and devised by Rome. And then when Christianity, which Muslims, atheists, can pretty much decimate, like this one guy, we're going to see his channel, but not yet, not yet. This one Muslim guy, he just decimates Christians. Then he talks to J-Hos who don't believe that Jesus is God anyway. That, hey, Mr. One Message guy, that's stupid, okay? As I said to you in a comment... Why don't you go after Rome? Hmm? It's very interesting to me. The atheist. The Muslim. I'm sure some do go after Rome, but hardly. No. They go after the daughters of the whore. They don't go for the head of the serpent. I wonder why. Well, let's continue verse 3. In Jude, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Once delivered. And hey, Mr. One Message Man, I'm sure in your little Gideons, they've reworded that, haven't they? Handed down, I believe it says in the non-King James Version. I could be wrong. Okay, I could be wrong. I don't care. Because the non-King James Version, which you use to attack Christianity, is not God's inspired, given by inspiration, perfect and errant word. And you're like, well, I can count, I could point to you a hundred contradictions. I yes you can, especially using a Bible. Especially. But see, there's this thing called rightly dividing the word of truth, being dispensational, which will answer a majority of your questions. But then again, you're not using the right book anyway, buddy. So when you are, you're, you're attack, you are actually, in fact, attacking the Jesus who isn't. But sometimes you get close to attacking the actual Jesus, my father, and that's where I take issue. And that's why you're getting on my nerves. You're going after patsies. Why don't you go after Rome, buddy? Verse 4 in Jude. For there are certain men crept in unawares. Now these are talking, this is a reference unto infiltrators, such as Jesuit coadjutor infiltrators, who come in and get all this nonsense, just all this other stuff going on. Okay? That's what that's a reference on to. Who were before ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Just believe and receive. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. John 16 from the authorized. Perfect. 
given by inspiration word of God. The authorized version referred to as the King James Version. I bet you, Mr. One Message Man, I bet, I bet you, I bet you, you would resort to the very same Jesuitical, yea hath God said arguments about textual criticism, about the, the main thing that's on your channel when you go to it, how you're just destroying a mindless Christian. But see, that's one of the things that I give respect about Muslims. They, they come out and they, they point out the contradictions between the Bibles. And the fact that they're, they're, they all say something else. But you know, hey, 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 Mr. Muslim men. You guys say that your Holy Quran doesn't contradict. You say that all the Qurans say the same thing. That's a bold-faced lie, buddy. And I'd say that 12 inches in front of your face. And if you're in America, you couldn't do it to me as you would in one of your nations. You'd cut my head off. But I'd take a piece of you with me, buddy. Oh, brethren, don't for one second. According to this, don't you for one second trust the civility of the Muslims. That does not mean that we do not treat them with respect and courtesy. That, that, don't do that. I mean, be, be courteous, okay? But don't you for one second think that the Muslim is this happy-go-lucky, tolerant individual. If you don't convert to Islam, you are to be killed. Okay? All right? But you guys say that this, that they all say the same thing. That's a bold-faced lie, pal. That's a bold-faced lie. I've had three copies of your Quran. Okay, I've got, I've, I've rolled it down to this one. Even the Arabic there, when you can, when I've done this, compared even the Arabic there, or whatever this is with the others that I had, even there were differences in that. So when you come along, Mr. One Message Man, and say that all the uh, Quran say the same thing, you're lying. You are a liar. These don't all say the same thing. Just like the Bibles don't. Just like the Bibles don't. Okay? So you, you people out there, don't, don't for one second don't for one second fall for that one. Okay? Don't. When they, when a Muslim says to you, well, the Quran doesn't co uh, contradict. All the Qurans, say, no, they don't. They don't say all the, the same thing. I know for myself personally because I compared them. Not in depth, of course not, but hey, like what, what this guy does all the time. You find one contradiction and hey! And the majority of the contradictions that you'll see are explained by rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, there is no contradictions within Scripture when you rightly divide it. And when you simply sometimes slow down and read the verse and examine it to actually what it is saying. Okay? John 16. Verses 1 on to verse 16. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever, not just those within the synagogues, whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. And the Ishmaelic hatred for Jacob, I rest my case. See, in order for a son of Ishmael to truly be saved, to know that he can go to heaven, he's going to have to do the one thing that he hates the most. He's going to have to love a Jew, a Hebraic Jew. And see, the, the tie-in there is Satan, with that man of sin, the son of perdition, erroneously referred to as the Antichrist. Satan is going to have to become, embody what he hates, the Hebraic Jewish people. 
And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. Jesus Christ is the Father. But these things have I told you that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? Be, but because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Now see, if they were looking forward to the cross, okay, if like some Christians say, that they were looking forward to the cross from the beginning of Scripture, no, they weren't. It would have been sad, yes, that, you know, he's going to go to the cross, but at the same time rejoicing because, hey, we were looking, but they weren't. They weren't. Don't fall for that lie taught by guys like that sodomite Stephen Anderson, okay? Don't believe the lie that, that they, were, they were Christians in the Garden of Eden. Give me a break. People have actually said that. Don't fall for this lie that they were looking forward to the cross in the Garden of Eden. Don't fall for that. That is not true. Okay? Verse 6 again. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Elsewhere, it says the Father will send the Holy Ghost unto you. One God. There is only one God. Okay? This is true. Comprised of spirit, the Holy Ghost, soul, God the Father, body, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, the Word, capital W, the Word made flesh. Genesis 1, verse 3. And God said. You see the Godhead, Godhead, in the first three verses of Scripture in Genesis. You see God the Father, you see the Spirit, and the Word. God said. Okay? Alright? One God comprised of Spirit, Soul, and Body. All right? All right? Jesus, who is God the Father, is the Holy Ghost who dwells within you. Okay? God is a lot bigger than many people give him credit for. Okay? All right? You don't have one person of this three-person satanic <coughs> Trinity living within you. No, that, that's nonsense. You have the Father living within you. And the thing about the Son thing, Mr. One Message Man. Okay? Son of Man, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Son of God, God manifest in the flesh. Son of David, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, King of the Jews. Okay? That's what that means. All right? It's, it, it's interesting, too, because also the very same attacks that the atheist, the Muslim, will use, a lot of Christians will use also when it comes to trying to refute God's perfect and there and given by each word. Let's continue. Verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father. And ye see me no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. There's so many names. Ishtar, Shimu, Mary, <laughs> uh, Beelzebub, and Scripture, Lucifer. Catholicism have, has interjected the Samael, which is not in Scripture. Satan, the accuser of the brethren. 
Allah! Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Let's continue. I have many, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall shew it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Now, questions about the Godhead versus the Trinity, that, check the channel. There's a playlist on that. Okay? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. But in Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, Verses 1 on to verse 5. Okay? What's Jesus? There are many Jesuses. There really are. There's the Roman Catholic Jesus. There's the Jehovah's Witness Jesus. There's the Freemason Jesus, which is, excuse me, Mormonism. There's even a Baptist Jesus. There's even a Pentecostal Jesus. Okay? What's Jesus? There, there, there is even a Jesus of Islam. And that Jesus, the Muslims respect. But the Jesus who is, they don't. And, and see, it's theater, people. It's all theater. If Satan casts out Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? But in order to give you people the suspension of disbelief, what is called Christianity right now comes from here, from Rome. And it's clearly contradictory. And the Bibles, not, not, not the scripture, there's a, there's a difference. The Bibles come to you from here, Rome. Okay? So what happens is, the, you can liken it onto the straw man argument. Rome has given the world this thing of Christianity, which atheists like Dave Murphy, okay? This one message guy, this son of Ishmael, okay? Rome has given what isn't, and also what isn't. And the theater, the Shakespearean play commences where this, who is a daughter of this, seem to fight one another. See, Satan has given you people what isn't. And then along comes his, one of his daughters and shows you what they say isn't. Hmm. It sounds like things have been set up that when a certain event, the redemption of the purchase possession happens, along is going to come this Hebraic Jew from out of nowhere. And he's going to get the whole world to rally behind him. And here is my concern for you, sons of Ishmael. You guys are going to be the patsy. I believe that with all my heart. I, I, I believe that. You'll find out. The Christians are not going to be the problem. Because the Christians come from here. That, that's not going to be the problem after the redemption of the purchased possession. When the saints, saved people, leave. That man of sin, the son of perdition, is going to need an enemy. When he, with the pockets of Rome, which is more wealthier than the house of Saud, once he finances the removal of your dome on the rock, as I have spake with several, especially online about this, uh, Muslims, that dome the rock that's uh, in Jerusalem, you think, they think it's blown up so the third temple can be rebuilt? You guys are going to go ape. 
And then that man of sin, the son of perdition, is going to rally the world around you because remember, he's going to be what he hates the most. He's going to be a Hebraic Jew. He's not going to be a Hamite. He's not going to be a Japhethite. He's not even going to be a direct of Shem itself, meaning an Asian such as a Japanese, Chinese, or something like that. Okay? No, he's going to be a Hebrew. And he's going to rally the whole world behind him to exterminate you. You'll find out. Okay? You'll find out. But see, the faith that was once delivered on to the saints, one God, okay? Ephesians 4, 1 on verse 5. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the capitalist spirit, God Himself, in the bond of peace. There is one body, body of Christ, and one spirit, one God. Capital S. There's one God. Not three gods that make one. Okay? You're right about that, Muslim. You're right. Please. go. You guys do a really good job at it, actually. You do. Please. Attack the Trinity, Muslim. Atheist. Please. Go right ahead. Y'all you, you, working for Satan anyway, but please. Please go right ahead. Attack the Trinity. It's, it's bogus nonsense. Go, go right ahead. Okay? Go right ahead. One God comprises of spirit, soul, and body. You and I are made in the image of God. We have a spirit. We have a soul. We have a body. We are not God. Okay? We can't create things when we say things. Okay? We can't create stuff like that. Okay? God can. <laughs> All right? And here's the thing. Um, God doesn't sin. God never sinned. Okay. He became sin. Uh, he took the punishment for mankind. That's what that means. Jesus Christ never sinned. God can't sin. Okay, That's one, another big glaring difference between the Creator and His creation. And also, his, we have free will. Okay. God doesn't want a robot. Okay, But let's continue. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One hope of your calling. Called. The way, that's east. The way of the cross. Which those who claim that they are of the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Well, they are crossless gospel. Crossless gospel. As the, the inquisitor from New York says. You know. <laughs> and again, it's it's a, it's it's theatrics, people. Okay, Satan is performing a performance for you when you have two systems of Satan supposedly fighting against each other. This is attacking what Christianity is, and what Christianity is right now today comes from here. You, and see, see people who who believe as the saints ought to, and our saints take issue with that. But see, you people don't see the things as you ought to see them. Why? One Lord, verse five. One faith. One baptism. And let's read verse 6. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all, and in you all. That doesn't mean every single person has God the Father in them. No, 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 no. This is written under who saved people. You're saved. You went the way of the cross. The elected, chosen way of the cross. The Lord saves you. You have the Father living within you. And dear Muslim, you teach a variation of the sin of presumption which comes to you from your mother, Rome. See, the white elephant that you guys don't want to, that you skirt away from is, why 
where did Islam come from? Oh, and they, they can they get all very creative. But scripturally, scripturally, and hey, Mr. One Message Man, I, there is a playlist addressing your religion. Okay? I invite you to watch it. Where we answer a couple of the main questions that you guys have. You know. And, and your statements, I should say. Excuse me. You're the firstborn. Huh? Isaac was the usurper, right? Right? Then, then, yeah, yeah. That's, I've, I've run into that. Mano y mano. Mano y mano. Okay? Huh? I want to show you this, guys, Jim. Okay, I want to show you this. All right. Here is this individual's channel. Okay. Now, like I am right here. This, this caught on tape, Christian preacher caught lying. Okay. And this is 59 seconds. We're going to hear this. Brethren, listen to this. Have you read NIV? Uh, uh, NIV. This verse. <laughs> Why does NIV change it to 22 because they believe it's a textual variant there so they're going with the other textual variant there that that and mr one message dude the guy you're talking to is doesn't know anything okay he used the jelly because he's been trained by the jesuit order in the the phallus houses with their yea hath god said there is no perfect standard which even you mr one message man catapult off of but you lie in saying that this is perfect and they don't contradict. That's a lie. And I'd say that 12 inches from your face. I would. I'd say that right in your face, man. Okay? You lie. You lie. Even the Arabic in this differed from other editions of the Quran. So don't you dare say that, oh, well, the Quran says it's all the Quran. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. But let, okay, let's let's continue here. Let's listen to this guy here. So that means in this Bible there was an error in the age. Now see that Bible of his? That's a non King James version. It has all the verses, but the wording is changed, and hence you got someone like this able to defuse decimate Christianity it's theater people this is this is a pro wrestling thing okay it's the straw man argument Rome has set up something that is clearly not the faith that was once delivered onto the Saints and one of her daughters comes along and easily refutes it They found it to be an error. No, they, they changed it. No. They're interrupting. Come NIV shows that, that their research. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> yeah. Sweet, loving uh, son of Ishmael. Huh? Like I've said, mano y mano, I've, I've had cordial interactions with Islam, with Muslims. I have. Okay? I have. Um, also, too. You gotta remember when it comes to mano y mano, man to man. I don't fret men, okay? All right, I don't. I, I forgive me speaking kind of foolishly. Forgive me. I don't care how big you are or whatever, whatever. I don't care uh, what kind of motorcycle gang patch you got on your back, okay? I don't care. I don't fret men, okay? This guy, this one message dude. Number one, he knows that he has the Christian on the defensive. He knows that. He knows that he is the aggressor. He knows that. He also is aware of the obvious that the Bibles contradict. And that what the Bible says and Christianity says, just like this, contradict. Okay? He knows that. So he's taking liberty, and don't interrupt me. Okay? Aggressive posturing. But this is this is a man of God. Little G God of this world. Hmm. Church 
that this was an error. But you said right? I use the NIV. And you do use the NIV. We'll get the video lying. for you. Okay. You're lying. Okay. We'll get the video. NIV and McCarthy, they all said that this was a copyist error in the Bible. And, and you brought up a particular question. I used the NIV study Bible to use an answer that I agreed with wait, because wait, it was in line with the scripture. Which study Bible? The ESV study Bible. Oh, he just said NIV. I never said NIV. Well, he just said NIV. He said NIV. Christians, did he say NIV? I used the NIV study Bible. I used the NIV study Bible. He disagrees with NIV too. Who does? You. When it comes to that, yeah. You disagree with NIV. You disagree with NIV. Have you read NIV? And the NIV contradicts. Atheists bring that up. Okay? And you saw how happy he was, proud. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And oh, oh, check this out. Check this out. Okay? Uh, we got we to gotta see this. Okay? Check, look at this. Look at this. A million subscribers. Okay? <laughs> Man of God. Now watch this. Okay, that's what you get for you. You get a gold plaque from Jesuit controlled YouTube. Alhamdulillah. All you haters out there, keep hating. We're still going to. All you haters out there. Alhamdulillah. What are we you know all about that one, don't you, buddy? Allah. <laughs> okay, and that, 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 that we're, we're not gonna, we're not going to uh, listen to that now. Oh, I gotta, I gotta put the search in again because I can't go back. One message, boom. Okay, there we go, there we go, okay. Have you written an idea? I'll be uh, fine. Not. But, all right, so he's thanking God. He, you saw it. He went down and thanked his God for getting a gold plaque from Jesuit-controlled YouTube. But now I want to bring up this, okay? This, this guy decimates Christians, as you just saw with the NIV thing. He's pointing out the obvious, okay? And he's going after people who aren't prepared, whose feet are not shod with the preparation of the gospel. He attacks the foundation, and the foundation that the Bibles come from is on a foundation of sand. But I want to show you this, and I'm going to show you, unless he's de deleted it, um, oh, it, 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 I, I think it was in this one, the God has gender thing. I left, yes it is, I left a comment. Now, whether it's been deleted, I do not know, but let's see, uh, let's see, is it here? Is it still here? Uh, bear, bear with me, people. I want you to see that. There it is! Here's my comment to this man. All right? Here's my comment to this guy. I have a question for you, son of Ishmael, son of Hagar, firstborn of Ab Abraham. Why do you not focus your efforts upon the mother of Christianity? You do well in exposing the false faith of Christianity, which is not the faith once delivered unto the saints, Jude 3. By the way, you're using the wrong book. <laughs> and he, you know, he brought up, you know, he uses an NKJV. That little, he has, he has a little Gideons. So, Satan trying to cast out Satan. Like I said, the pageantry of Satan establishing clearly what is false and using also clearly what is false to knock down what he has established. Very, very clever. Vince McMahon could not write this kind of drama. Okay? All right, all right. All right. Uh, and, and yay. One plus one plus one equals three. Brilliant. Yes. Amen. Why don't you go after Rome? Is it because, quote, well, here, let, let me show you, because it's right there. It's right there. Let me show you. From the Quran. The chapter called the food, verse 82. Thou wilt certainly find the most violent of people in enmity against the believers to be the Jews and the idolaters. Oh, idolaters such as actually saved saints. But now check this out. 
and thou wilt find the nearest in friendship to the believers to to the believers to those who say we are Christians why is that that because there are priests and monks among them and because they are not proud as it says in that comment okay Christians Christians what does the Quran mean by when it says Christian it told you right there there are priests and monks it's talking about Roman Catholics why don't you go after Rome because your religion was founded by Rome that's why that's why okay that's why all right and hey like it says in that comment hey mr. Muslim find me in a Bible translation find me in a Bible translation within the actual text of the scripture not in the study notes okay not in the introductions but in the actual text find me in I'm not aware of any in any Bible translate definitely not in the scripture find me where it says monk find it and here let, let me let me uh, okay now we, I've shown you what you well, what I wanted to show you okay I, I showed you what I wanted to show you so here that that's enough on that okay that's enough let me let me share with you something from the whore herself okay I just read you verbatim from the Quran that they will have a near friendship with Christians but yet they talk about killing Christians but yet you'll find friendship with Christians because they are priests and monks see the Quran makes a distinction to what Christian they're talking about And from the Catechism of the Roman Catholic Church. This is the Bible to the Catholic. Uh, this will be, oh, let me see. We will read, oh, here, let me show, uh, let me show you this. This is what I'm going to be reading you, okay? Okay, this is the church and non-Christians. Okay. We'll be reading their verse number 839. Oh, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll read to about 843. Those who have not yet received the gospel are related to the people of God in various ways. The relationship of the church with the Jewish people when she delves into her own mystery, the church, the people of God in the New Covenant, discovers her link with the Jewish people. The first to hear the word of God, the Jewish faith, unlike other non-Christian religions, is already a response to God's revelation in the Old Covenant. To the Jews belong the sonship, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and of their race according to the flesh is the Christ for the gifts of God for the gifts and call of God are irrevocable without repentance now that's true they acknowledge that but see you if you read any of this uh, just like the Muslim they teach you that the church that there's no there's no salvation outside of the Roman Catholic Church okay Catholics don't rightly divide the word of truth Okay? Catholics don't rightly divide the word of truth. All right? And when one considers the future, God's people of the old covenant and the new people of God tend towards similar goals. Expectation of the coming or the return of the Messiah. But one awaits the return of the Messiah who died and rose from the dead and is recognized as Lord and Son of God. The other awaits the coming of a Messiah whose features remain hidden till the end time and the latter waiting is accompanied 
by the drama of not knowing or misunderstanding Christ Jesus. The church's relationship with the Muslim. We read in the scriptures that there's one faith, one God, one Lord, one baptism, one identification. There's only one God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Hey, they, they, these guys say that the, the way to Allah. <coughs> they get angry? They say that Allah is the only way. Huh? But see, what does Rome say? Rome, of course, once the body of Christ is redeemed, going to be, oh, okay. But here's what they tell you. They say one thing for the esoteric and the other thing for the exoteric. Okay? The church's relationship with the Muslims. The plan of salvation also includes those who acknowledge the Creator. But Jesus Christ himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God's a God of exclusivity. Okay? In the first place, among whom are the Muslims? In the first place are the Muslims. These profess to hold the faith of Abraham. Do they? Do they? Well, what said the scriptures? Huh? What said the scriptures? The sons of Ishmael, the Muslim, holds the faith of Abraham and together with us they adored the one merciful God mankind's judge on that day do they here let me show you that Where, that's what this says can you see that can you see it? yeah you can see that that's what this says the definitive article faith of Abraham John 5 John 5 uh, wait, wait, no no excuse me excuse me John 8 verses 39 under verse 44 from the authorized version. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. Rome just said that Islam holds to the faith that is of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me. A man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. And the Muslim, I saw one of his videos, is like, I love Jesus too. But see, which Jesus, Mr. Muslim, you got your own Jesus, which is not the Jesus who is. Okay? Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, Faith of Abraham, if God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, comes from himself. For he is a liar and the father of it. So Rome said that you Muslims have the faith of Abraham. This is what is called ecumenicalism. That there's one God, but God has allowed so many paths for people to go who don't want that way. And the atheist, who there's no such thing, comes and looks at this stuff and it's like, how can there be one God, but yet there be many paths? This is, this is 
theater. This is this is theater, people. Why can't you get this through your heads? Maybe because you're so up to the neck in it. The church's bond with non-Christian religions is in the first place the common origin and the end of the human race. All nations form but one community. There is no because there is there is so because all stem from the one stock which God crea created to people the entire earth. This is making reference that yes, we all have a common ancestor. Not a sniveling piece of snot that came out of the water. Adam and Eve. Okay? Even the Muslims get that one right. Okay? And because all share a common destiny, namely God, uh, no, namely death, his providence, evident goodness, and saving designs extend to all against the day when the elect are gathered together in the holy city. One world government. See, now when they say elect, they're referring on to themselves, the Roman Catholic Church. Elect in scripture is reference onto the Hebraic Jewish people, but also those who are elect, meaning we have gone the way of the chosen elect way of the cross. Okay? The Catholic Church recognized, this is so yea hath God said, sick, disgusting, the Catholic Church recognizes in other religions that search among shadows and images. <laughs> they changed the Ten Commandments to justify images. <laughs> oh, 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 pal! Yeah. For the God who is unknown... Unknown? I won't even say that. <laughs> For the God who is unknown yet near since he gives life and breath and all things and wants all men to be saved. That is true. I would have all men to be saved, yes. But not everybody's going to be saved. Because God has chosen. God is a God of specificity. God is an exclusive God, and he has chosen the way of the cross. In this dispensation, God rightly divides the word of truth. Okay? <clears throat> Thus, the church considers all goodness and truth found in these religions as... Let me, let, me, let me say that again. Let me say that again, okay? Uh, and, and let's go to John chapter 16. You, go to John 16. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Not, uh, John 14. John 14. And look at verse 6 in the authorized version. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the definitive article, the truth, definitive article, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And go ahead and read in the authorized version, Jesus refers to himself as the Father. Hey, hey, Muslim, you've said Jesus never said he was God. You're right. He never said, I am God. He didn't have to. He said, I am. You're right, he never said, I am God. He never said, I am the Mashiach, the Messiah. He said, he who speaketh to thee am he. But you're right, he never said, I am the Messiah. He never said it. He, all he said was, I am he. He That's in John 4, by the way, in the authorized version, uh, verse 26. Jesus saith unto her, uh, 25 and 26, the woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah is cometh, which is called Christ. That means anointed one. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. A variation of I am he. Jesus called himself the Messiah. He did not say, I am the Messiah. You're right. He didn't have to. See, that, that, that's another thing that these guys do. They bring up the obvious. Hey, one message. You're bringing up the obvious to people who don't know. 
You're playing along with your mother's scheme. But let's read this again. The church considers all goodness and truth found in these religions as a preparation for the gospel and given by him who enlightens all men that they may at length have life. You realize what that says? Rome in this joke which most Catholics don't know. Okay? Just said that there are many paths to God. When the Lord himself says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Let's read a little bit more for you. Okay? Oh, and by the way, Son of Man, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Son of God, God manifests in the flesh. Okay? All right? Son of David, King of kings, Lord of lords, King of the Jews, God the Father. If ye, uh, let's read on to verse 9. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Elsewhere, you Muslim would bring up why it says no one has seen God at any time. You can't see the soul. See, this is something that you guys ain't getting. We're made in the image of God. We have a spirit, we have a soul, we have a body. You Muslims even acknowledge that. Okay? But God has a spirit, soul, and body. One God. Okay? You're right. There is only one God. All right? Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. How sayest thou then, shew us the Father? Jesus Christ is the Father. Okay? Psalm 25. Psalm 25. This is impromptu. Um, like I said, uh, that, 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 that one message guy, he's really, I'm probably going to, yes, I'm subscribed to him. Yes, I am. Keeping an eye on him. But the more I see him and the more I hear him, the more he gets on my nerves because he's, he's you know, he sets up his little thing and then <laughs> Christians, Christians are not as devout as the sons of Ishmael. They are, but in this, okay? They are, but they're cults of little, uh, cults of uh, personality, usually surrounded by some one guy, okay? You see this a lot in King James Bible believing Christianity and elsewhere, okay? But, but this guy is, you know, and he goes after check. Hey, Mr. One Message Guy, if you ever see this, you won't. But if you do, quit wasting your time with the j -Hos and the morons, Mormons, okay? All right. But see, see, to the world, you doing that, you're attacking Christians. <laughs> j -Hos and j -Hos, they don't believe, they believe that Jesus is actually uh, Michael, the archangel. And the Mormons, you know, <laughs> uh, he became God, and uh, their whole point is to become a God so they can have relations with their women for eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brethren, the enemies are attacking what Satan has set up. And the world that doth not know who the true God is sees that and take what the Muslim, the atheist, is dismantling as Christianity and hence the lost go in another direction. Do, do you guys not see this? No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Saints get it. But you guys don't. And then you got you Christians who get all up in arms about these stupid little things and play right 
into the drama that has been set up by Rome, by Satan. You're part of it. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. Until my time is up, or until we get taken up, you ain't going to shut me up about this. It's, it ought to be obvious unto you saints. And, and it is. This is a battle. We are at war. And see, New Christians are too busy. You King James Bible believing Christians are too busy defending a movement rather than fighting for the Lord Jesus Christ. Prove me wrong, pal! Prove me wrong. Look at how you guys react. Hmm? Look at it. Look at it for what it is, people. Psalm 25, 12 on verse 19. His soul shall dwell at ease. Oh, it's great. Excuse me. Verse 12 on verse 19. Excuse me. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. See, you got to rightly divide the word of truth, friend. Before the death, burial, and resurrection, there was faith and works. After the death, burial, and resurrection, the blood shed on the cross, it's by His grace through our faith. Okay? Salvation changes within the dispensations. Okay? His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. Seed of Abraham? The secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, and He will shew them His covenant. You guys, you Muslims have a fear of the Lord, but the wrong one. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, and he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Desolate. Hey, brethren, aren't we getting smaller and smaller and smaller as time goes on? Brethren, why is King James Bible believing Christianity getting bigger and bigger? We've, we've talked about this. How the longer you walk in truth, the more the false are going to detract away from you. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies. They are many. And they hate me with cruel hatred. Cruel hatred. Cruel hatred. Psalm 27 and we'll be done. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I don't fret men. And to you, Mr. One Message Man, I don't know if you're in America, Canada, I don't care. If we were in a nation that adhered to your God, the God of Islam at least, I should say, you would have killed me. You'd kill me in a heartbeat. And you'd rejoice. You would rejoice. And you know what? I dare you. You point out the obvious about how fake Christianity is. Bravo. I give you respect for that. At least have the stones to say, yeah, yeah. Mr. Accountable KJV. My name is Brad, by the way. Okay? Uh, yeah. 
I were in a Muslim country and you and I were 12 inches from each other's face, you'd kill me in a heartbeat. You'd kill me quicker than that guy from England would. And you both have the same amount of hatred because your father is the devil. And the little of your civility that you put on with your convenient that the camera is there. Who do you think you're kidding, pal? Who do you think you're kidding? You're kidding a lot of people. See, I tell people, the person you see here is the person you're going to see out there. Okay? What person would they see if the cameras weren't off of you, Mr. One Message Man? Let's continue. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came up upon, uh, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Satan will win some battles, but the war, hmm, the Lord's going to win that. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Verse 4 shows you a dispensational difference. Under the law, they had a temple, the synagogue, okay, or the temple. Okay, God did not dwell in the, per in the believer permanently as he does today. To instruct us in righteousness, you look at verse 4. Today, you come to him the way of the cross. You're once saved, always saved. Okay, we covered this in yesterday's video. Okay, you're once saved, always saved. You are part of him. You belong unto the house of the Lord. Okay? All right? And to inquire in his holy temple. And to inquire in his temple. Uh, on that, you saints know this, but see, you, you, you others who are not don't know this. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Okay? You, you one message, dude. You would. You would. You would use the same Jesuitical arguments to not use the authorized version of the scripture. And use an NIV or your little non-King James version all the way. Yeah. 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 Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses, where is it? Uh, verses uh, 16 and 17. Know ye not that, you, that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit, capital S, the Lord himself, Spirit of God, dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Back to Psalm 27. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me, upon, he shall set me up upon a rock. And that rock is Christ. That's not a capital R rock, though. Okay? And now shall mine in it, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises on the Lord. Hear, O Lord, here's the shift in the psalm. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path, in a plain path, excuse me, because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies for false witnesses. For false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Saints, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That is going to be it for this little video. Um, like I said, um, I, that, 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 you, you, 
you're not going to see this. You missed a big shot. <laughs> People are praising you, and you you bow down to your God, worshiping the gods of gold and silver. You thank God for getting a gold plaque from you two. <laughs> why would you even, why would you even, and I read the comments, you know, and I left the comment myself. It's like, yeah, bow to the gods of gold and silver, okay? You're getting on my nerves, pal. It'd probably be a good idea if I just stay away from you. <laughs> it probably would be. And I will. I will. I'm going to tell you. You couldn't call him. I'll talk to you. Not online. You know, not on a stream or something. You want to talk with me? I'll talk with you. You know, I got my emails available. Yeah, you want to talk? I talk with you. I have a Skype with you, sure. Sure I would. I would. I think it'd be a very interesting conversation. Face to face. <laughs> I talk with you. But uh, but hey, but be aware about this thing there, pal. You ain't gonna intimidate me. Understand? Let's just let's just say that like you come to Chicago. I live in Illinois, Woodstock, Illinois, by the way. Okay. Um you come to Chicago and we arrange a meeting. And like you intimidated and scared that little boy we were talking to, you ain't gonna intimidate or scare me, pal. Okay? Why should I fear man who's gonna die just like me? Anyway, excuse me. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Brethren, please keep your servant in prayer like mentioned in the previous video, because got stuff gotta do on Monday. Video on Monday probably will not happen. We will see. That's not up to me. Okay, because I got that thing to deal with, like I talked about in the previous video. So, thank you for watching this. If you do, any of you Muslims who happen to see this, go ahead. I got information in the description box. You're going to shoot out, uh, out at the mouth and not consider? You guys do all this stuff to attack Christianity. Go ahead. I'm attacking you back. But I'm not a Christian. I'm a saint. <laughs> I'll leave you with that. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>